Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. And today we're going to talk about function and relation mapping diagrams. Function and relation mapping diagrams. So what we're looking at here is uh, mapping. Usually you have uh, two little circles like this, or ovals I should say, like that. And they're mapping numbers to the other one. What we want to know is whether it's a function or not. And this is all you need to do know is if you have two lines coming from the same number in the first column then it's not a function as long as there's only one line coming from there you're fine okay uh, it's a function so let's take a look at a couple of examples all right so here's an example right here what I have I've kind of reorganized it different than it looks like on Delta math I've moved the actual problem down here and I've got it so that you can see all the drop-down boxes for every every answer here. So I want to be clear so that you can understand what's going on. All right, so um, it'll give you these drop-down boxes, and you're basically filling in the blank. It says fill in the blanks below in order to justify whether or not the mapping shown represents a function. So first, you need to figure out if it's a function or not. Okay. So like I said before, if you got two lines coming from set A then it's not a function but on this one we have uh, one line here one line here and one line here okay so it is a function once you do that everything else is pretty simple from there so you would pick function here let's see if I can zoom in make this bigger actually let's do Let's just change this. Let's see if that works. So you can see it better. There we go. All right. So this represents a function. The mapping diagram above represents a function. Since for each number uh, in the set of uh, a now here's the thing they got four choices here really it's only two and to be honest it's only one so the first number is always going to be a or the first the first one here is going to always be a and it's always going to be the input because a is always the input okay so for each number from set a the input where the uh, there are only one mapping to go to uh, set B the output and the second one will always be set B and it will always be output okay so once you realize that this is a function you will pick these exact same answers every time okay let's take a look at another example okay so on this one uh, we'll take a look at the numbers we see that uh, each one only has one line going from that one number okay so it does represent a function all right and then next uh, we want to say okay cool for each number set a the input there's only one mapping which is the line being drawn from the number to the output set B set B the output and that's it all right let's take a look at another example all right so on this one you can see right here this negative one you've got two lines coming from negative one so this one is not a function not a function so you'll say this is this does not represent a function the mapping diagram above does not represent a function since for one of the numbers there is one number negative one and set a the input still set a the input because that'll always be a it'll always be input 
there are multiple mappings because it's more than one two going to set B the output and these answers stay the same you know once you realize it's not a function everything stays the same all right let's take a look at the last example okay so if we look here we see here at three you've got two lines coming from three so it's not a function so it does not represent a function because there is one number from set a the input there are multiple mappings going into set B the output and that's it that's how you answer those questions there okay. so that's determining whether mapping whether a uh, a mapping is a function or not a function so I want to thank you for checking out mr. where's videos have a nice day